Here we're going to play teacher and find out grades of different students. So we have a couple students here and we're going to find our average. So find our average, we're just going to come up here to our functions, average. And we're going to select the three grades for the quarter, press return, click and drag it down. Okay, we're going to round these up. So we just have no decimal places. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply letter grades to these. Okay, so this is a new formula. Here's our scale. Equal V lookup, open parenthesis. All right, so what are we applying the scale to? This is going to be E2, that grade. All right, now we want to put in our range. Okay, so our range is from H2 to I, uh, what is that, I7. Okay, now we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to apply dollar signs. Dollar sign, H, dollar sign, 2. Okay, then we're going to put a colon, dollar sign, I, dollar sign six okay now comma two that just means we want to use the letter grades and then true close parenthesis press return it gives us an a so 92 is an a yep so now we're going to drag down okay now you see when we drag down Let's look at this one. It changed from E2 to E4. These did not change, and that is because the dollar signs are there. So that's what we use the dollar signs for. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to sort these by letter grade. So we're going to go data, sort, okay. What column F. Okay, and then we're going to create a little chart here. Okay, so we can see we mostly got A's and same amount of B's, C's, and D's, which normally would not happen, but we only have five students. Okay, that's that.